Hello guys, I'm going to show you how to install Windows on a Mac. I'm gonna be sharing this link on the, the video description. Okay, so once you go to this link, just need to download the Windows 10 version. You click on confirm. Then you set the product language into, we want it in, in this case, I want it in English. Click on confirm. Now here on the 64 bit download, most Mac computers are 64 bit. Okay. Um, if you see, if you go to the Apple and then you go to, to about this Mac, then you will see here on the core, it says core i5. It says, if it says duo, core duo, you're running on 32 bit. Any core i3, i5, i7, any core like that should be 64 bit download. So once you click on download, then this will download into your download folder. In this case, it will take around 25 minutes. So I'll be right back. Okay, so now that we have downloaded the disk image for Windows 10, I have it right here. We're gonna go to this search button on the um, from the top right and we're gonna run what is it that we're gonna run we're gonna run bootcamp okay now we follow bootcamp we hit continue And it's gonna ask you how many gigabytes you want for Windows. And give me a moment. And I'm gonna set it to 50, because I need 50. I don't know how many gigabytes you need, but uh, you can click here and adjust how many gigabytes so I'm gonna stay with 140 on my sorry I'm gonna stay with 140 on my Mac and 50 on my Windows I'm gonna hit install it's gonna ask me like if I want to connect to source power I have more than 50%, so I'm just gonna click continue and battery power. And it's gonna start installing. So once it's done downloading, it's gonna ask me for my password, or if you have a set up a touch ID, it would um, have um, ask you for the touch ID and you can just put your finger in it and proceed with a with the installation it's gonna reboot so it's gonna log off of Mac of Apple and then it's gonna log back into into Windows so right now it's logging off of Mac and there you see the Windows And now you're gonna I'm gonna go through the through the setup just like if you had like got an um a Windows computer. So there it is. I hit next. So the language and time and currency format. And here uh, you're gonna click, I don't have a product key down here, right next to the next button. And this is where everybody like uh, gets confused. 
because it seems like um you need a product key but um down here right next to the next button it says like i don't have if you can see it like better here whatever i don't have a product key you click on that and then i'm gonna choose windows 10 you can choose pro um you can choose any type of windows education or home or whatever windows you like i hit next i accept the terms hit next And let's wait for the setup to finish. Okay, so right now it just like loaded up and it's putting up again. So right now it's getting devices ready after you accept the terms and hit next. And Let's wait for it like to to get it ready. Okay, so now it's asking me for region. So I hit United States. Sorry, I click on United States. Is this the right keyboard layout US? Of course it is. Want to add a second keyboard layout? Not for now. And I'm gonna connect to Wi-Fi. So I'm connecting to So Wi-Fi right now. Now that I hit it's connected, I click on next. So I'm gonna set it up for my own use. And it's asking me to sign in into um, Microsoft. I'm gonna hit next. Okay, so I'm um, going to, it says who's going to use this PC. I'm gonna write my name. So I'm gonna put a password now, setting up a password. And I confirm the password. Let me set up the security questions. Okay, so now it's telling me uh, choose privacy settings. So I hit accept. And 
and then I hit no, let Cortana help you get things done. I said not now. Now it's, uh, Microsoft is greeting me right now. We're getting everything ready for you again. <clears throat> this might take several minutes, so I trust that Microsoft will take several minutes. Okay, so now um, I went through the setup and I get a uh, welcome to Windows and there it is. There you have it, like welcome to Windows in Microsoft Edge. I close this, it's fast. I hit like a, I see bootcamp here. So I click on next. I accept the terms in the license. I click install and wait for the to finish the installation. So now I have like a, it restarted. In, all right, so um, I have like um, restarted. So it's asking me for my password. I put my password again. And there you go. There you have it. Have it on um, Microsoft Edge. Windows is really fast right now. And I have like all the folders going on here. Let me open here. It's pretty good. Windows 10 running on my Mac. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe.